Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of EVE Echoes. Tonight on the show we're going to take a look just a little bit on uh, the patch updates, patch notes, uh, because uh, patch, the patch, the whatever, the new version, um, you know, the one that was announced to come uh, at October 13th, well it seems out it was <laughs> actually October 14th, because uh, you will know that the maintenance is usually on Wednesday, and 13 actually was Tuesday. So I don't know what the hell happened there, and why did they announce it was going to be on October 13th? Because there was no patch, no maintenance, no uh, um, version upload uh, in that day. So uh, we logged in today after the downtime and found out about some new and interesting stuff and we'll get to that in a moment please if you like what we're seeing here uh, throw in a like and a subscribe and if you really want to help me keep this channel alive be sure to check out the YouTube channel membership and you can donate a small sum monthly uh, small as two dollars. Thank you very much. So let's go into the patch notes a bit because there's some interesting things that I want to cover and um, some of them that are pretty nice and some of them that are actually uh, pissed off about. So we have the added the reset skill point feature and we're going to get into that shitload uh, in just a couple of moments because this, at least in my opinion, is not the thing that I wanted. Um, uh, protection will now last 60 seconds after leaving a space station. Changing directions will no longer dispel the protection. This is good and this is bad. This is good because uh, for like people, we, like casual people, or for people that just want to escape station camps, uh, it's very good. It's a very good feature. You no longer sit inside a station fearing that when you undock until your assets or your uh, the um, the outside of space loads up. Uh, you get blown to bits, and this actually gives you uh, protection, just like after you jump a gate and you get into that cloaking uh, stasis uh, while, while you're uh, invisible and you're invulnerable. So now you'll be invulnerable for 60 seconds after undocking. The bad part is, well, for, for some of the most, let's say, veteran people, camping stations in Nolsack is something... Um, it's a usual tactic, so if you want an alliance pinned down, you can just uh, camp to a station and they just have to play station games or they need to undock in full power and try to take you out. Right now, this this, this gives you opportunity of camp people uh, to no longer be camped because they can easily get out of the station and then they can walk back in at a decent um, range, an optimal range, and just rain fire on whoever is camping the station. So, right now, stations in Nolsack can no longer be camped properly. Number three, fix an issue where delivery containers cannot be delivered from the ship inventory. Uh, this was an issue that was addressed. Guests are required to link their account before joining a corporation. This is good against bots. When a guest player jettisons into space, a two-hour lock will be automatically applied to the item, preventing it from being transferred to another player. This is also a... Um, great fix against bots uh, because they're actually forcing people using bot farms to actually have um, valid player information like uh, registered emails and blah 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 because uh, you, you cannot you can no longer play uh, no longer use the bots uh, with the guest account because that was one of the maneuvers they've been pulling around just having the uh, bots uh, being as guest accounts and then setting up PI uh, and then you know, when, when they uh, launch the PI, the planetary mining stuff from the planets themselves, uh, a collector, this is a one account, which probably is the main account and not the bot itself, just goes uh, over the entire um, the entire area where all the bots are set up and collects everything. So now, uh, that main account that is collecting, the collector is no longer uh, being able to collect stuff from the bots doing PI. So that's good. Um, <laughs> that's that's actually very good, and of course, uh, having guest accounts when a guest account would be banned, we just create another one, and it's almost practically free and easy to get a, a guest account. It was uh, easy to get another guest account up and running because when you join, I think you get like five hundred thousand skill points, uh, just like that, uh, and you you can pretty much set up your PI. Uh, right from the start, which was uh, pretty bad. So this is a good move against that. 
Improve the loading speed for ships. Uh, okay. Tier 6 or low alpha players can no longer stop planetary mining in areas with security level lower than 0.5. This is something that we uh, announced ourselves in one of the videos on the channel. Improve rendering efficiency, meaning stuff renders faster. Uh, I don't know, there's no spec information on which phones are affected. Uh, what, uh, what kind of... Uh, maybe only on Android. I, I haven't seen this problem on, on iOS. Uh, I don't know. Guest accounts can only create one character for security purposes. Makes sense. Improve the damage number display when ships are hit. Uh, this is actually good because um, before this, there was just flying numbers and sometimes overlapping, and you couldn't exactly see the damage you are receiving. Added basic recommended fittings for all ships. This is kind of neat because it helps new people understand how to fit some specific ships. Uh, but not to mention, uh, there's uh, quite a lot of YouTube channels, uh, either in English, there's, uh, there's this channel, there's uh, Sovereign's channel, there's Captain Benzie's channel, there's channel um, in uh, in Deutsch, like in German, there's channel in uh, channels in Russian. All the the entire play base has all uh, a lot of access to a lot of information regarding um, PvP, PvE, whatever content you guys like. Just be sure to support us because we're here uh, for mostly for you. Changes have been made to some entries in Concord's Guide to New Eden, blah blah blah. Add a notification for oversized cargo when requesting shipping containers. You know guys, we've covered the extra large container scam and how you can easily get ripped off. Well, apparently this fix is aimed at that, but indirectly so right now when you're trying to by mistake just try to nab one of those deliveries uh, because you, everyone is spamming uh, to, to grab them uh, if you're trying to, to grab something that you probably don't have the cargo sufficient cargo for it you'll basically get uh, this message uh, before it's actually accepted like a confirmation are you really sure you want to do this are you sure you really want to get scammed uh, so this might help a bit, but of course the, the people who actually do try to spam their way into get, getting the contract uh, might overlook that and just try to dismiss that to grab the, the, <laughs> the delivery as fast as possible and they'll end up scammed anyway. The description signi signifying that skill effects don't stack has now been moved to the top of the tips. This is actually good. The skill training queue now shows the overall training speed. This is good because the tips themselves, uh, that the there's penalties and stuff, or uh, the only um, uh, the only actual level uh, bonus is applied, and not the, the bonuses are not accumulated. Uh, you know, like you get level one five percent, level two ten percent. It's that's not cumulative. It, it's just like it actually displays the current bonus that you get with the current skill level. So that's good. And of course, an old bug with the skill training cube uh, displaying uh, just 30 skill points per, uh, per minute uh, has been uh, fixed and it now shows exactly how many skill points per minute you get, considering the fact that maybe you have the chips, uh, maybe you have uh, combo omega, basic omega, or just standard omega, you know. There's different numbers there and should be reflected. Great cooperation using mortar features is now removed. Okay. <laughs> so this is basically kaput. <laughs> They've closed down this option. So you're no longer able to create a cooperation using mortar feature. Uh, meaning, you know, you you really have to pay 200 million isk to start a cooperation. You can no longer pay 15 million, million isk uh, and then pay the extra 200 to complete the cooperation deal. Appeal function added. This is mostly uh, to help with, uh, with the tickets. Whenever you get a ticket and the answer is not to your uh, satisfaction, you can always appeal it. That won't guarantee you'll get a fix. Sell now order function added. It will charge fee intermediator. Unsuccessful match will return the item. So now instead of just selling the item, and even though there's a matching or, uh, buy order on the market, uh, you still get taxed with the broker's fee. And now you have the option, it's in the lower left corner of the sell uh, panel. And once you tap that, if you sell immediately, uh, then you will no longer be taxed. So this is actually pretty neat and helps a lot with the player's economy 
uh, a bit because for, for, for some sums uh, like for items expensive and stuff uh, you get taxed a lot which is actually not nice you cannot place a development array from the guest account it can only be launched after binding the account okay and we have some fixes fix the issue caused by regular data and a fitting screen resource extraction shutting down the server and object locations the client were not displayed in sync with the server this is actually interesting and I'm going to to take a, a closer look at this uh, this basically happened whenever you try to um, I don't know PvP or PvE it, it, when you come inside a belt and you see some uh, ships go flying in some direction but they're actually not and when you close down on them and you try to shoot them it says you're missing uh, the actual ship is uh, is being forced to move along by a desync issue was being forced to move along by a desync issue and it was actually in its original place so if you you would approach the original place and start shooting again you'd actually kill it and you'd see the wreck popping up in a different spot where, from where the actual ship is uh, currently visible so hopefully this desync issue has been fixed i'm going to take a close look whenever i pvp uh, because it, it actually hurt a lot in, in, in PvP. So this is pretty much it on the patch notes and this is mostly my uh, impression of them. I'm going to show you guys um, why I think that the skill uh, respec is poop. Um, it's a good feature, but the way it was implemented is um, it's horrendous in my opinion. Let's take a look. So how do you get to that? Well, you get to uh, the skills. And once you get to the skills, uh, uh, there's one of the fixes. It now shows uh, 75 uh, skill points per minute, a proper number instead of just 30. Um, so how do you get to this skill point uh, reset? You go to the refresh, which is, I don't know why it's refresh. It's, you're not refreshing anything. <laughs> okay. <coughs> So this is the reskill, uh, reset skill points panel. Notice the information in red on the bottom. You can reset after reaching 500,000 skill points. So what is it, what's this saying is so bad. I'm actually very angry with this change. Uh, actually with this implementation. It's not a change, it was a complete new implementation. How this worked was not actually released to the public uh, around when we did the video on the, the, on the skill respec being announced. This changes the game. This changes uh, the feature and how we envisioned it to be, us players. Why? Because you cannot, for the love of God, just remove one level. You cannot pick a specific level. You have all the skills on the left side which have no dependency, like um, have no ch or have no uh, children in skill hierarchy terms. Uh, for example, if I would have uh, expert cruiser command, then advanced cruiser command would not be showing here, and it, the only uh, skill that would be shown would would have been expert cruiser command. Uh, right now, I have advanced cruiser command, and so the basic cruiser command is not being displayed. So we cannot subtract just one level. No, you have to click on it, and it will completely demolish the entire skill. Now, this might be okay, but I really want to have more control over what the hell am I doing. Like, I, I, maybe I just, I want this to have in level 3, or there's something that I just went over the board and went for level 5. I just want that level 5 to be out of the way. For example, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, I have nothing in level 4. Oh, there it is. Small drone upgrade. So I have small drone upgrade, but I do not have advanced small drone upgrade. Now, this one is in level 5. If I'd like just to subtract one, you cannot. You basically include the entire skills and all its levels. This is poop control over what you can do. Uh, this basically forces you to untrain completely a skill, all its levels. Maybe you don't want to, you are forced to. The threshold of 500,000 500, skill points, this is also bad. Why is this bad? Well, 
or uh, maybe I just want one skill level. Maybe I just want because it was promised to be one plex per 5,000 skill points. Maybe I just want to move around 5,000 skill points. If if the if the quantity has a base cost like 5,000 skill points, one plex, why can't I use 5,000 5, skill points for respecking and play and pay just one plex? I am forced to do an entire skill and that's not enough i'm forced to reach a threshold of 500,000 skill points meaning i'm forced to spend 100 uh 100 plex minimum maybe i don't want to spend 100 plex at a minimum maybe i just want to uh respect 250,000 skill points and i just want to pay 50 plex this is uh taking away control of what a player can do and this feature would have been so great uh, would have helped you to uh, I don't know to let's say you've been specking on mining but now you have you you can go into strip miners because you've reached a uh, a bigger tier level a tech level you can't do that you can't just pick some stuff and just add them and try to infuse those skill points in that Actually, I think this would have been more, much more beneficial because this forcing people to spend 100 plex minimum, um, I know, takes away the, the the fact of micro transaction. You, it'd be, it would be much better for people spending one. Pl I'm not being an asshole here. I'm not siding with uh, with uh, with anyone. But just from a marketing point of, just from a, I don't know, how to sell a feature to, to the players, right? I'm a software engineer, I, I know how these things work. If you want to sell your software, you need to make it attractive and, and make the user, uh, I don't know, spend, um, if I'm, I would be uh, a game developer, try to, to, to coerce a player or user to spend as much as he likes but if I give him small quantities that's the basic principle of microtransactions if you throw something at a player and say you buy this for I don't know 50 bucks you get this and this and this a player may a new player someone um, maybe even uh, with good strong background knowledge on how microtransaction works might start analyzing what this offers uh, what this offer means and uh, is it worth the price and you, you probably get to the conclusion that maybe it's not worth it so it's a big sum for something while if you try to sell small quantities people will just buy it's just one small quantity I'm, I'm gonna buy this and I'm, I'm gonna buy the other one and I'm gonna buy the other one and then you get to stack up because small quantities bought at a higher rate actually overcome big quantities bought at a lower rate what i'm trying to say is people would have been more, much more eager to spend one plex uh, every now and then than just hit a brick wall of 100 plex now maybe 100 plex is not a such a big deal but again it's taking away the player's control over a feature and um we have this saying in in, in Romanian, "clientul nostru stăpânul nostru," which is actually translated into "our customer, our master." I don't know if this is a, a, an equivalent expression in, in English, but the customer, the client, should always be able to pick whatever he chooses uh, and have full control over something he's paying for. So. This is actually taking control away from this feature and is basically forcing us to use bigger quantities of, uh, <coughs> of plaques. And of course, uh, just clearing out an entire skill, all its levels, is in my, in my opinion uh, intrinsically bad. Uh, please uh, throw in uh, your comments in the comment section. Please let me know what you think about this skill reset uh, panel. How the feature was implemented? Is it to your liking? Have you used it uh, so far? I have 100 uh, plaques to use, but I really have nothing to spec out. Because, for example, in my case, 
everything I put in, I put in for a reason. The only thing is that I really want to take out is the stuff given to me by default, which is the mining, the common ore reprocessing. It's those two that I really want to get out, to, to just extract from here. Um, they've been giving through, uh, uh, through completing the advanced tutorial and, you know, with this uh, chip set, or the skill chips uh, that were provided as rewards. And honestly, I don't want them. I really want to get this uh, and mining out and just maybe apply them for something else. Right now, it's 75,000 skill points, which is pretty good for me to invest them in some other level on some other skill. I can't do that. See why I am pissed? <laughs> because I have went with um, building up my character really good and the only thing that I want to remove is something that I don't actually use. But I can't do that. Why? Is there a reason behind this? <laughs> I'm pretty upset about this. Again, please let me know in the comments what you think about this feature. Uh, have you used it so far? And if it's any good, please also let us know. Thank you guys for watching. A very big shout out to my channel supporters. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.